Hey beauties, it's me, Allegra. Babes, the other day on Instagram, I asked you guys if you had any questions for me and I figured I would do a Q&A video. I haven't done one of these in maybe ever. <laughs> I don't even think, no, I don't actually think I ever did one. I don't think I ever did a Q&A video. I figured it'd be fun to share for some of you beauties to get to know me more because there's so much that I never really shared with you guys before. Um, and then so I did ask you guys to send in your questions and a lot of you did so I'm going to go ahead and answer them today. If any of you have any more questions after today definitely leave them below and I'll do another Q&A and I'll answer those questions another day in another video. So let's just jump right into today's Q&A video get to know me video. I'm kind of nervous guys to be honest. I, You know what guys to be honest now that was one of the questions that I did get here. Um, from Crystal Nicole. She, hi Crystal, how are you girl? Um, she had asked, was you scared of being on camera when you first started YouTube? And I was so terrified. I am pretty much still a lot of times I will get nervous. So a lot of my videos, you know, the thing about doing a video is like you can edit it out. So a lot of times I'm just sitting there stuttering or out of loss of words and I just cut it out. But, um, yeah, I you don't think you can do is just keep going. If you want to do YouTube and you're scared, everybody's pretty much, I think everybody's scared at first or scared forever. People will always be scared. I've heard of like even famous actors are so scared to talk or do even, you know, do different things that you would never think they'd be scared of. Even singers, you, I'll hear that singers are like famous singers, are, they'll throw up before they go perform on stage. And meanwhile, you would think they're used to it because they perform with millions of people. No, everybody's scared. So the only thing you can do though is just to keep going. Just show up, do it. Show up scared, <laughs> do it anyway. Keep going. And you'll get better and better. A f a few, a quite a f some of you might have seen when I first did my videos, I used to be so scared. I would talk in the highest pitch voice. My voice would come out like in squeaks because I was so nervous that I couldn't even get my voice out. But now I feel happy because, um, you know, I can talk more like, you know, in a normal voice. I don't squeak anymore. So I would say to anybody out there, if you're scared to do a YouTube video, if you're scared, you just make a decision and you say to yourself, I'm going to do my, I'm going to do a YouTube video. And believe it or not, you'll just, you'll just start doing it. Say, I'm going to start my channel or I'm going to do a video. You just decide you're going to do it. And it's really weird. You start doing it scared or not show up and you'll just get better and better. You know, it might take a while or it might not take a while. Everybody's different. If it takes you a while, that's fine. If it doesn't take you a long time, that's great too. Um, so don't worry. Just be say to yourself, it's okay to be scared and show up anyway. I'm scared all the time and I do stuff anyway. Um, so you can do it. Anybody wants to start, you know, I used to not be able to talk at all. Like my whole life I was so shy. I couldn't even speak at all. And I wanted to speak so bad and I couldn't. So now look at me. I kept trying and I kept going and now I talk and talk and I don't shut up. So <laughs> it's all good. You can do it. You can do it. I Believe me, you can do it. So just do it scared anyway. Show up and do it anyway. Another question I got here from Anne Marie was did I go to college and what did I study? So I did go to college and initially I had wanted to study child psychology so I really wanted to be a child psychologist or a social worker. I really wanted to help children um, and so I was in school for that and I got really it got to be a lot because it's very you know there's a lot where if, if you don't have boundaries and you take it home with you, you're going to get really upset. And so that's what wound up happening. It really was getting me down. And um, I, I thought at the time, like, I can't, maybe there's a different way that I could help children without, because seeing it in real life, hearing the stories, it was too much for me. It was really upsetting. I couldn't, I didn't have boundaries then. I feel like now if I tried again, maybe I will be stronger. Um, so maybe I will do that someday. But I love doing makeup though too. So I I really loved doing that though. I really loved going to school for that. I also studied art in college. I studied so many things um, that I loved writing. So I really loved writing. And actually my teachers had suggested that that would be a better career for me is to be a writer. So I really loved that as well. So yeah, then I wound up just working going my husband opened his tattoo studio and I and he needed a lot of help so I wound up going to help him at his tattoo studio so I wound up going to help him at his store and we wound up working 12 hour days like you do like when you have your own business you have to, you just have to give it your all and you wind up working 12 hours a day so what, even 14 hours a day we were just working up to four o'clock in the morning so seven days a week I went, I wound up and went working for my, you know, helping my husband build his, his business. 
So another question that I got here is what is your secret that you've been hiding from us? Your, what is your good news? So guys, I was going to save this for another video, but I figured I would share some of it with you today and then I'm going to come back and tell you guys more. But today I can finally tell you guys what I've been wanting to tell you, what I've been waiting for is that we have just closed on our dream house. So me and my husband are moving into a new house. I'm so happy. It is amazing which we truly got our dream home it is amazing 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 i can't wait to show it to you i can't wait to be there the yard is huge and it's already all fenced in for the dogs we're gonna get another dog we're gonna get, wind up getting a big dog because i have the two little ones they're like my little babies but my husband always wanted to get a big dog he always wanted to get a weimaraner he used to have them when he was little and um he really wants to you know have another one again so we're gonna get a weimaraner guys and we're going to we're looking for one right now we're hoping to find one at the rescue at the wine rescue but we're hoping they would get a female and we really want to name her roxy unless she's at the rescue and she already has a name already then we will definitely keep her name but um, yeah, we're, I really, we really want to name her Roxy. So we have the whole thing planned out. We're working. So we just can't wait guys because the house is unbelievable. It's on the lake. Lola heard me talking about Roxy and she bounced. She was like, she's mad. She doesn't want to hear about it. <laughs> but she's always my number one girl. You know what I mean? I would never, no one could replace Lola and Louie in my heart. But you know, they, anyway, I'm just joking. But, um, guys it's amazing it's on the lake like I was saying it's in this beautiful town we have a big yard we don't have that here um here we in my house here in New York we have a two-family house and so and then we do have my mother-in-law lives in the other part of the house it's a, like I said it's two families so it's like two different apartments in one house and so now we're gonna have the whole house, you know, just us. It's it's one level, like it's a ranch. So actually, it's two levels. I'm gonna have I have my we're gonna we're already planning for my beauty room. Um, so I can't wait, guys. Let me know any ideas that you have down below for what I could do with my beauty room because I just don't know what to do. I'm so excited. Like there's so many different options how you could decorate. It's surrounded by pine trees. There are so many trees in the yard. Um, and I never, I always wanted to have trees, you guys, because when I grew up, I lived in a pretty, a building with no trees and there was no trees. And I, ever since I was little, I was like, God, I wish I could have at least one tree. So, and there's so many good restaurants in the neighborhood. Uh, there's an amazing Ulta down the street. It's beautiful. It's so clean. Um, it's just amazing. I'm so happy, guys. It's truly, God truly made my dreams come true. And I'm just, I cannot believe it actually happened. Um, there's so much to tell you. There's so much to show you. I'm already started. We've already started packing a little bit, but the people that originally own the house are still in the house. So we have to wait for them to move out because their house is being built or, you know, they're doing different things. But I can't wait to show it to you guys. And um, I am, a lot of you guys also did ask me about my house in Florida. So we do also have a house in Florida that we rent out when we're not there. But when we're there, because we rent it like month to month. So it's not, it's just like, um, almost like Airbnb that we do. It's because it's like a beach house. So people just want to rent it for the month and things like that. Or for the most people rent it for like a month or two. So when we go there, um, you know, they it's not rented. It's our, that's just for us. But I do we do own that house and then we rent that house out when we're not there. So we do have a few different properties that we rent out, but this house that we're moving into is going to be our number one house, our, you know, it's amazing. But I'll, I'll tell you guys more another day, but I'm gonna be sharing moving vlogs and all kinds of good stuff and decorating and empty house tour and everything. So, cause we have a lot, it doesn't, the house doesn't need that much work, but it does need to be painted, but it's already so beautiful. So, because the kitchen is green, and I really don't, I would really prefer not to have a green kitchen, but I, some people it looks great, but for me, I just love, I'm very into like neutral colors and whites and things like that, so I definitely going to paint the kitchen first, but there's not really a lot more to do besides that, it's already just, we got, we already ordered a huge couch, guys, it's like a dream couch, which we couldn't have here in our house here right now, because the rooms are not big enough to have a dream type of couch, a sectional, so we already ordered our sectional, and it's so beautiful i just cannot wait guys my, it has, the house has all kinds of skylights so it's it's so bright and open and, and it's amazing i can't wait to show you guys more 
So another question I got here from Jen Maturely Glam. Hey girl, guys, check her out. I'm going to link her below. She's a YouTuber and she does have a beauty YouTube channel, so I will link her below. She's, we got to meet up when I go to Florida. I can't wait. We've been planning to wait. We've been planning to meet up, but then everything happened, so we couldn't meet up this year. But but hopefully now 2021, things will change. I'll be back in Florida soon, and we can meet up. So she did ask me, though. She did, and I've been thinking about it ever since she asked, guys, because I'm like, hmm, maybe I should do that. <laughs> She's girl, you're putting thoughts in my head. Um, she said, would you ever get lip fillers? She said, your lips are gorgeous, by the way. Just curious how you stand on fillers. So, girl, I would love, you know, sometimes I think, especially when I look at pictures online, I'm like, oh, my God, I want to get lip fillers so bad just for fun. But to be honest, when I do my lip, I use that lip plumper, that candy lips. My lips are so big. I'm like, why would I get lip plumpers? Because that candy lips makes them huge. So, actually, I did do it before I came and talked to you guys tonight. I do it all the time. I love it. I love it. So, sometimes I'm like, you know, why would I spend, you know, let's say $1,000 when, because I'm not, not that I'm cheap, but I'm like $1,000, uh, you know, I'll think I could, I'd rather get, like, say, um, a, one of those facial laser treatments, or I'd rather go on a shopping spree at the mall, like, buy makeup. I'd rather buy a purse, buy outfits. <laughs> if I had a thousand, if I'm going to spend a thousand dollars, I think I would. Well, that's what happens. I'll, I'll wind up wanting to get a purse or makeup, or like, I'll spend a lot of money on shampoos and makeup and beauty skincare. I could, but then when I think about when the time comes, if I was to get lip injections, I'm, I'll think about, well, I could spend that money on x y and z and then i won't get i wouldn't get the lip fillers but i think it looks so good and i definitely could see myself doing that in the future i think in the future you know i even envision myself like in the future i picture that i'll be looking very plastic <laughs> like i'm the type of person i'm like you know what i'm like you know uh when i get older i'm planning i would feel like i want to look i would I wouldn't mind looking very like lips injections and face injections and all that glam i think it's a very glamorous look and i love it so I definitely, you know, if I had unlimited funds, I probably would have did it already, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but I always think about spending money, so that's why I don't get it. But, you know, to be, I gotta be honest, guys, uh, someone did offer it to me free, and I was too scared. So I'm a chick, I am a big fraidy cat, and actually, I, 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 now that I think about it, I was, uh, somebody in Scarsdale, where I live around, had and he's an amazing you know he's a plastic surgeon and he told me you know he wanted to do lip injections on me for free um you know for me to do like write a blog about it and things like that and i was too scared because a lot of people say they swell up and they and like they might be bleeding the next day and i got i did get too scared i chickened out but let me tell you girl if me and you are in florida and you say let's go get it watch me me and you go get it together <laughs> i don't know if you i don't think you have maybe you do Girl, watch. If some if I'm with somebody and they tell me let's go get it, like one of you beauties, I'll be like let's go, let's do it, and I'll wind up doing it. That's how I am. I'm just always with my husband, and he doesn't like lip fillers, so that's probably why I don't have them because he is like he says he hates them. But I've seen them where they look so real, and they look so gorgeous. I've seen injectors that make them look. Um, so, guys, I'm gonna talk myself into it. Anyway, guys, I will probably I, you probably will see me getting it someday. Uh, soon maybe in a couple years or so I definitely want to get Botox though guys though because I haven't gotten it in so long and then this is like I don't know who cares I'm I, I don't know I just I, I love it though I love the look believe me I love the glam look I'm just too chicken to get it but let me know you I'm, I'm gonna take you Jen please answer on your channel Q&A would you get lip fillers how do you stand on fillers um, I think people look amazing though with the plastic surgery. I'm just such a chicken, you guys. And I love makeup the most. And I feel like there's a lot I can do with makeup to achieve that look. Um, I would love to get under eye filler, you know, this. I would love to get the whole nine yards, but then I'm a chicken. And then I love makeup. So I'm like, I don't need it. I know I do makeup. So anyway. So yeah, that's where I stand on fillers. I love them on other people, but for me, I'd be probably too scared. I'm a little too scared. I'm a little bit of a chicken. <laughs> Um, you know how it is. So let's see here, guys. I'm sorry I keep talking. I'm going to have to probably come back another day and, fi and finish answering these. So this will be Q&A part one because uh, I got I already I have so many questions and I can't get to them all today. So I'll be back. But I'll answer one more from my girl, Trish. Trish, hey, girl, what is up? Um, and Trish asked, um, how many handbags and shoes do you have? Absolutely love them. Thank you so much, girl. 
Um, guys, I'm gonna list Tr I'm gonna list Trish and Jen below. That's my Charlie clan. And I like I said, I'll be back with another Q and A. But um, I just want to answer this question really quick. I mean, I don't, honest to God, I don't really know how many I have. I have so I do have so many, and I've been wanting to answer this question for you because I do feel really bad about this. But um, you know, my husband does not want me <laughs> to talk about my purses. Or which ones I have and this, that, and other on my social media because of the people like Teresa Romer whose closet got robbed. And I told him he is so crazy. You know, I don't have anywhere near the purses that Teresa Roma, Romer, Romer has. Is that her name? But, you know, he thinks that I do have a lot of purses and I have some really nice purses. I, I, I've never sold any of my purses, so that's why I kind of have a lot. Um, and I love purses. Oh, he's coming, guys, right? When I'm talking about purses, he's going to be like, zip it. He doesn't want me talking about my purses on social media. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know another day, though, the story with the purses. But some of you guys might know what I mean. But, um, like, I used to be on purse form, and then they, like, people will go to your house and try to take them, you know, things like that. So I can't really, you know, show them or talk about them. But I'll, when, you, when I move to my new house, hopefully I'll do a closet tour. And I'll be able to show you guys. He's here, guys. That's why I was right. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for sending in your questions for today's Q&A. I will be back uh, soon and answer the rest of the questions because there is a bit more that I wasn't able to get to today. But I will be back because I know I got some really great, great questions from Green Eyed Cat and a few of your other beauties. So I will be back. If you guys have any other questions, um... You can just list them below and I will answer them in the next Q&A video. Get to know me video. Get to know me tag. I'm tagging you, Jen. Get to know you. I want to get to know you, girl. So <laughs> um, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I hope you guys are all doing good. I will be having a some more giveaways soon. I just am trying to move my house now. So it's really hard to get everything together, get to the post office, things of that nature. But I will be back. And um, I mean, no, I will be back anyway. <laughs> and uh, I will do more, another Q&A and we'll have a giveaway again soon. Or check my, check my Instagram too if you can, if you're on Instagram. Because I will be posting something on Instagram, a giveaway soon on Instagram. So thank you guys again so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.